<clears throat> How you doing, brothers and sisters? Um, I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, maybe many others of you are having some of the same experiences. Um, right now, one of the things that I notice, one of the um, occurrences, if you will, that seem to keep happening over and over and over again, is seeing the numbers 1111 and 444. Um, I believe all my life when I think about it, I've seen the number 333. I used to wake up in the middle of the night and see 333 all the time. Um, but recently, I just keep seeing the numbers 1111, 444. I've gone on the net. I've seen things where people say they're angel numbers. I'm not going to refute it. Um, I have not gotten that direct message from the Most High. So I'm just throwing it out there. Um, there are certain things I do know, and I'm sure many of you have noticed too. Um, that's beautiful about God, about the, the Holy Ruach, about um, Yeshua. You can think a thought, have a question in your mind, and all of a sudden you get the answer. Uh, be it you'll turn to something in a book, you'll hear a conversation where people are talking about it. Um, somebody will say it to you, they'll walk by having that conversation. Uh, it could even be a scripture, something that you keep quoting, something that uh, the Spirit of the Lord is putting on your heart. And you'll open the Bible, not saying you may not know what book it's in, but sometimes. You could have just been talking about it and you're actually going, your intent is to go to a totally different book. And as soon as you open the book, bam, there it is. And the spirit is confirming things to you. Um, one of the things which I told you before is uh, the spirit of truth. When Jesus left, he said, it's expedient that I go. So that the comfort of come, the spirit of truth. And the spirit of truth will testify to your spirit, leading you into all knowledge, okay? Um, even telling you of things to come. And uh, many a time, I could be walking around and it, it will speak to you. You're not imagining things. I'm just telling people that some of these experiences that you're having as the blessings, as the giftings of God come upon you. Um, you'll know somebody's talking about you, and it doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Although, if it's negative, it'll let you know. Um, somebody can tell you that uh, they're coming, and you'll know uh, they're not coming. Or you might have somebody you didn't expect, and all of a sudden, you you get images of them, you think of them, you can hear the Spirit talking to you, telling you. So-and-so is coming over today. You might need to clean the house. Not saying your houses aren't clean, but you know what I mean. We like things in order. Sometimes we like to put away our personal things when we don't expect company. Um, we may be comfortable, which you should be in your own home. And you have some things out and about that you don't want seen, touched, handled by everybody. Um, and the Spirit will tell you. Somebody's coming over today. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a family member that's a block away, states away. Um, they could be on the other side of the country. I got a message about a family member that literally lives on the other side of the continent. I'm here on the East Coast. He's on the West Coast. And the Spirit told me something when I was standing in the kitchen. And... As, he's, as the Spirit's talking to me and I'm listening, I'm like, wow, my brother did what? And I knew which brother they were talking about, you know. So I took the message in and thought, wow, to myself. Later on, I talked to my husband and I said, I want to tell you something that I heard. I heard it. And... I said, it may sound far-fetched to you, but I'm telling you, this is going on. I, when you start getting strong thoughts about something or somebody, and you know it was the furthest thing from your mind. Matter of fact, it wasn't even on your mind. 
Um, that's the spirit talking to you. It's testifying to you. Um, it will testify to you about things from the past, things that are going on right now, uh, or things from the future. And um, when I went to tell my husband, he was like, there's something I want to tell you, but I'm going to let you go ahead because I went to him first. He said, I'm going to let you go ahead and say what you got to say, but there's something I want to tell you. You know, I don't think I got past the first sentence before he's like, oh, my God. That's what I wanted to tell you. The same exact thing that the spirit was telling me was going on with my uh, one of my brothers uh, was the exact thing my husband had been coming at me to tell me about that he just found out. And uh, he's like, how did you know? How did you How did you know? I'm, I'm telling you the spirit. God told me. I'm in the kitchen. And it told me. Um, you will get messages. You will get knowings. The the the, the simplest way <clears throat> to really explain it. You you can hear it. You can dream it. It can come in a vision. Um, a dream vision. Those of us who um are are very prophetic or have have visions. Uh, and God said in the last days, he's going to pour out his spirit on his male and female servant. Young men dream dreams, old men see visions. The visions and the dreams, when he speaks, when words speaking that way, that's men and women. Okay. I've woken up, or at least I thought I woke up, only to wake up into a vision where I thought I was actually getting up. I got up from where I was asleep, only to get up. And go through an entire process only to find out it was an open vision. Um, and when I got to the end of the vision, um, where I woke up, somebody was at the door. I was surprised it was my brother from another side of the country. And I thought, wow, what are you doing here? You know, it's good to see you, but whew, I was laying on the couch asleep, never expected to see you. And then he opens my door. And when I look, it's all these brothers and sisters standing there. And I recognize them in the spirit. And I knew who they were. I knew they were from the Confederate House of Israel. I knew. And as I'm looking at the men standing there, I turn to uh, my left. And the room was filled up with all these beautiful Hebrew sisters. And I could feel the love coming off of them. The and 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 I was smiling, happy to see the brothers, and I I think just from smiling, my spirit being welcoming, and this is in a vision. Um, they suddenly started pouring in the house. The women had already come in. The beauty, the love of the sisters had come in, and I felt it. It was powerful. Um. But the men came in, they were very respectful. I could tell they, they, the spirit of God was on them. I also knew by their spirits, by, by the manners, by the way they were clothed and dressed, um, that my husband would be very welcoming to them. And as soon as they entered in, I just knew, because you get a knowing, that my husband and them were having deep conversations. It was just beautiful. Um, I'm not going to go so far into it. Uh, somebody walked me into the kitchen, and when I walked into the kitchen, I saw this beautiful, ancient stove, and I knew it was a gift from them. And I was stunned. I mean, this was an ancient, ancient stove, strong, cast iron. And then at one point, I, I, I started kind of getting a little upset, like, wow, it doesn't have burners. I like to cook. Um, I, it doesn't have burners. Where's the burners? There's no gas on this stove. And then uh, the, the the man that was showing it to me, he pointed to these burners. And not only did it have burners, it had six burners, which made me happy because that means I can get more things done on it. It was very broad. And something was in the oven. And I knew something was being prepared. Something was about to be birthed. There was a new, something new was coming. Um, uh, the vision went on a little bit further. Um, I walked through a doorway and ended up in a world 
or where it was all our people and it was the atmosphere was so charged with the spirit it was I knew I was home this building I walked into I was home I I, I was more home I walked out of the house I live in went through a door and ended up in this other building this room but when I went into the room the room embraced me. The atmosphere was charged with the spirit. It was charged with love. It was just home. It, it, that feeling you get when you when you're tired. That that I, I'm trying to compare that feeling it gave me to when you've been on a long journey and you're tired, and when you see home, it's something so comforting, comforting, so secure, so restful, so delightful. Your eyes, everything about it is just comforting, particularly if you have a good home where you, you, you can get rest, you can get peace, you can feel safety, love, positivity. Um, you can be you, the best you you can be. There's no hindrance there, there's support there. All of that, the atmosphere was charged. It was just charged. And I went through a door and I ended up on a street. And on that street, it was people, they were, uh, it, it, they had stores or they had things they were, I'm going to say selling, but they were doing a work. It was so positive. Nobody was impressed. Nobody seemed sad. These jobs we get now sometimes we overwork, underpaid, uh, disrespected, disregarded. Our ideas are stolen. Somebody else always trying to take credit. Certain people that should help you somehow always got 20,000 excuses. The 20 shades called gone. Uh, you're doing all the work. The boss isn't recognizing it or your superior, supervisor, whatever you want to call them. Um, but none of that was there. And I, I, I can't even describe it. I'm trying to give words to something that I knew I was home. Then when I got to the end of the street of this place, um, I, I kind of ended up at a fork in the road, like, do I stay? Where, where, which way do I go? I looked back and I knew every, I, I, I walked by people and everybody, it's like we knew each other. There was no threat. There was no, um, no sense of isolation, no sense of being misunderstood. I know what it was. We were one. We were one. It, I ju you just get a knowing, that knowing. And my heart was at peace. My mind was at peace. And I remember thinking, I'm home. Wherever I was before, I thought that was home. But no, this is home. I'm home. And then all of a sudden, I woke up and I was on the couch. The couch that I thought I had woke up from when I woke up into the dream vision. My point being the spirit talks to us. It, it, it uses so many means and methods. Um, like I said, uh, I've been told um, I can be great, go upstairs, take a bath, take a shower. No, the, but the doorbell's going to ring about 20 minutes. And it's like, huh, the doorbell's going to ring. You want to be down here for this. Don't go take your bath yet. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm listening to it, and within the next 15 minutes or so, ding dong, there's the bell. Okay, um, or the phone, and I know who it is. Or you feel it, you, it, it, it just talks to you, you see it. Um, but one of the things is these numbers. They're repeating numbers. 11, 11, and 444, it's just so constant. Um, I do see other ones. For some reason, on, uh, I believe it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday past. Um, I saw 1010. I'm walking by in the living room. I saw 1010 on the, the TV's clock, the TV's digital clock. Then I go somewhere else in the house. I'm doing something. 
And then I see 1111, which I'm like, okay. But then it kept getting deeper. I went to do something else and I turned and I, I think I picked up my cell phone and hit 1212. And I was like, what, what are the odds of this? 1010, 1111, 1212. And like I said before, sometimes I get messages and they don't, they're not, they're not always immediately revealed. Um, they come in time. Some are immediately understood, but um, it, it, certain things that the Lord does is pregnant with revelation. It's pregnant with knowledge. It's pregnant where he'll speak to the current. He'll show you something from the past, and he's giving you knowledge about something that's going to come in the future. But he does it. The eternal speaks in the now. It, it, it comes in the now. Um, and that was just something I wanted to share. Um, maybe there's somebody else out there. I mean, I, I, I went on, I Googled it. You know, I, I, people tell me, oh, that's an angel number, you know. And that sounds beautiful. I I just 1111 and 444 are everywhere. I've seen 222. Um, I used to wake up all the time, 333. I think something's going on. It's just everywhere. 333, and then I go back to sleep. Wake up another night, 333. But right now, I'm having the 1111s and 444s. Uh, like I said, Wednesday, it was 10-10. Go do something, go somewhere. 11-11, I'm like, uh-huh. And then 12-12. And then later on that day, same day, 4 4, four. Um, I know there's something in the numbers. I know it because it's constant. It's actually increasing. It's it's, it's, it's more than constant. I, to, to say constant is the base now, that's the base. It's increasing. Uh, seeing the numbers. And I don't get spooked. Um, I believe in the most high. I don't believe in um, terrorists and psychics and all that crap. Anything that's not of God, I turn my back on it because I'm the child of the most high God. But I know there's something to it. I know it's spiritual. I know it. Um, and I just wanted to put that out there because somebody else may be having that experience too. I realize as our awakening increases, there are a lot of blessings. There are a lot of manners that the, uh, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to us in, communicated with us, blessed us, opened our eyes, taught us. Um, and I believe those manners are going to increase. They're only increase for not just myself, but for others. Um, like I said, I had always seen visions and dreams, but something is like it's picking up speed. It's, it, it, it's going into turbo. Um, and I just wanted to share that because it was on my heart. One of the other things somebody had been talking about, the books that I had um, discussed, some of the books that uh, you should buy. Excuse me, I'm still working this flu out of me, forgive me. I want to put a picture, or I want to put, this is the Seifert. This is the Seifert. Okay. That's the Seifert. It's a thick book. Okay. And it has many, many books in it, okay? It speaks about the Catholic Church and uh, different people who took the books, those other books, out of the Bible. This is a Bible. This is a Bible, okay? This is the one that is actually more informative. And when I say more informative, what I mean is you're going to actually learn many of the correct names. You're also going to find many of the, the books that were taken out are in the Cipher. You really need to get the Cipher. Um, here's one of the books that's in the Cipher, but sometimes I buy my individual copies 
because this is the book of Enoch. It's probably, I don't know if it comes up on the screen backwards, you know, but this is the book of Enoch, okay? This is a copy of the Apocrypha, okay? I'm just showing you some of the books. Wait a minute. Um, this is, I, I have a hardback copy, but this is my paperback copy. The Lost Books of the Bible, The Forgotten Books of Eden. This is the Book of Jubilees, which is also in the Sefer. Okay, many of these books are in the Sefer, but sometimes it's easier to carry them around individually and read them. This is the Book of Jasher. This is the book, I don't, I'm trying to get the color in there. Wait a minute, let me bring it back. This is the Book of Jasher. They have one that's uh, considered a counterfeit. This isn't it. This is the one you want. This is the Book of Jasher. Okay. And for some, this is the Nakamadi Library. Okay. It's got some intense things in it. Okay, these are reference books, not reference, these are scriptural books. But what I'm saying is, these are the things, brothers and sisters, you pray on them, you expose yourself to them, and let God guide you. Like I said, the spirit of all knowledge will testify to your spirit, leading you into all knowledge and truth. Even so, to the point of testifying to you about things to come. Unseen things, the Lord is not going to leave you ignorant, uh, in the dark. God is an illuminator, okay? He's a God of light. A light means illumination, okay? Um, but I just wanted to show the books. At the same time, uh, I keep seeing those, uh, continual numbers so consistently that I also wanted to speak on that. So with that said, brothers and sisters, peace and blessings, and have a good day. Peace. Is this still recording? I thought I paused it, but it doesn't look like it's paused anymore. Um, I'm still learning, and as I learn, give me just give me a little bit of time. Peace.